Jenny, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, it's time for a new video because I have pretended to make my bed, but actually all the laundry that's on my bed is under those pillows and um, I put a plant here to make my nightstand look less messy. I'm going to be talking about my hair care routine. Um, <laughs> I've had a few people ask what it is and by a few I mean literally maybe three or four. I'm not going to act like so many of you have asked or requested. I've gotten like three DMs maybe to do this video. So I figured I would like to make at least three people happy. Can you chill? I'm just gonna try to jump right into it and talk about my hair type to sort of start off with. The texture of my hair is wavy. Is that the texture? My hair probably doesn't look like it, just I'm looking at it in this ponytail but my hair is very wavy and it's kind of a mix between normal to coarse. I have like a mix of texture like some strands will be will be really coarse and kind of like kinky curlies and then a lot of other parts of my hair are just like especially on the underside like the bottom half of my hair are much more like fine to normal and then near like the crown top of my hair it tends to be more coarse that's always fun to have a mix of textures because the coarser parts of my hair tend to be frizzier and they need more like moisture and then but then the more fine parts of my hair will get really weighed down and greasy if i do like a heavy hair mask it's kind of confusing my hair is semi low porosity if I, like when i get in the shower it takes like a good few minutes to like actually get wet like i can stand in the shower for a few minutes and like the underside of my hair will still be like dry and then once it is wet it stays wet for so long <laughs> like my hair will take over five hours to dry because it's also very thick which brings me to if my hair is thick or dense I've tried to do so many Google searches, gotten into the curly girl method, as a lot of people have, even though I understand I do not have curly hair. From what I've Googled, it seems like density is like how much hair you have, like how easy it is to see your scalp, and thickness is the strands. I'm honestly not sure. Whatever, whatever word you want to use, I have a lot of it. It's very heavy because it's also very long. And every single time I give my hair cut, every single time. Wow, you got so much hair, your hair's so thick. It probably sounds stupid, but I'm always jealous of people that have like, not thin hair, but just like a regular amount. And they can just have like cute little ponytails and stuff. And like it doesn't give them like a migraine from being so heavy. So in curly girl terms, I'll put a chart here, but I think my hair would be a 2C. 2B to 2C wave pattern. I have a hard time finding hair routines on YouTube that have my, who have my hair type. I feel like everyone who like has waves like me, they either have like high porosity hair that's fine, or they have hair that's way more coarse than mine, or it's way shorter. There's always something that like makes it different from my hair where like, I'm not sure how that routine would work for me. So I'm going to take my hair down, show you the length of it, and the brushes I use, and all that. Ow. Ow. Okay, so this is what we're working with. It's just about uh, to the under boob. It's also layered, as you can see. I have like shorter pieces here. And these pieces, I don't know. I don't know what they are. I don't remember the last time I've had like a professional haircut. So I've been cutting my hair myself using a technique I saw Jenna Marbles use when she cut her hair. I think she got that technique from an actual person. So I'll link that below, but it basically involved taking all your hair, flipping it forward and putting it like in a ponytail. It gives you access to like all the layers. So I basically just like start with the longest and I separate it. And then I clip that back and I just trim it and then clip that this way and then let this down. I actually did that um, yesterday so I'll insert a clip of that if you kind of want to see like the actual process of it. 
If not, you can skip it, that's cool. I never really had much of a hair care routine most of my life even though I knew I had wavy hair I just like didn't know what to do with it and it's also like expensive to like buy things for your hair because you can buy a product your hair just like doesn't like it at all and then you just wasted your money I'll leave a link in the description to the few people that I really like watching for hair tips it's not that many because I honestly get so overwhelmed before I take a shower, I do something that is not curly girl approved, which is brush my hair and detangle it. I have three brushes that I use for all for different things. I didn't clean any of them, so if you think that's gross, uh, then stop watching. <laughs> so I have a wet brush, a uh, classic. It's just a normal brush, but the, the bristles are like bendier so it's not supposed to like snag your hair as much. Then I have this bristle brush. I just like plastic bristles. I want like a nice boar bristle brush, but that costs money. This is a Olivia Garden. I don't know who she, who is she? What I like to use this for is when my hair is feeling like really tangly and like snaggy. I use this to smooth it out. It gets snags out without like hurting at all. I especially will use it around like the nape of my neck because if you have long hair, you know that that's where you tend to get like big knots and just like absolute rat's nest under your hair. So my newest addition to brushes I have is, is this wooden bristle brush. It's by Giorgio. I honestly got it because I was watching <laughs> holistic habits video and she has like angel rapunzel beautiful hair and she was talking about how great wood bristle brushes are and honestly when a pretty girl with beautiful hair says anything i'm just like yes okay i will go buy it i need it thank you when i brush my hair it tends to get big it just kind of gets fluffy and dry looking, even though it's not dry. This is what it looks like usually before like a wash day. Also, I only wash my hair about once a week. I shower more than that, but I only wash my hair about once a week. It takes like a lot for my hair to get greasy. Let's head to the shower and I'll show you guys how I wash it and style it and all that good stuff. Hey, what's up everybody? It's time for my second attempt ever. And, uh, oh, my cat's drinking my bone broth. Oh God. It's fine, I got it back. Um, anyway, so here I am in my 90s mom bathing suit and I'm gonna wash my hair. Now I'm realizing that as I'm turning the water on that it's going to spray all over the bathroom if I don't close the curtain. Yeah, right there. Um, so you won't be able to actually see me like rinsing or any of that, but you know, I'll be back when I'm done. And she's back, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, look who forgot she had makeup on. And here I'm going in with the Giovanni Tea Tree Triple Treat Shampoo. I always think it's called Triple Threat, and it's not. So I squeeze a little bit of water out of just the length of my hair to make it not so heavy. To be honest, this isn't my favorite shampoo. I like it enough, but it's a little stripping sometimes. It's almost like a clarifying shampoo sometimes. Like, it's not something I would want to use, like, if you washed your hair, like, more than once a week because it is so stripping. So I'm honestly kind of in the market for a new shampoo when this one runs out. But I do like how cheap it is and I like the ingredients. But if you have any suggestions of shampoos you like that are somewhat on the more natural side and not super crazy expensive, I'm interested in trying the Calia Naturals because of Holistic Habits, of course. I'm a simp for her but let me know what your recommendations are. Here I'm going in with one of these like 
silicone scalp massagers. Um, I got this on Amazon because a lot of people say it's good for dandruff, which I also struggle with. I can't exactly say I've seen like a huge difference in it helping that issue, but it feels really nice and I think it helps probably like get some debris off your scalp. But honestly, the little spikes are sometimes a little too sharp in my opinion and I like the way the like pads of my fingers feel better, but anyway, I do it just because I have it. Here's when I finally realized that I had makeup on this whole time and I forgot and I've looked like a crazy person this whole time and I attempt to remedy this situation. Amazing. Okay, great. Moving on. So now it's time for conditioner and I'm just gently squeezing a little bit of water out of my hair. I just find maybe it's just with this conditioner, but it's hard to work through sopping wet hair. So I just squeeze out a little bit and I'm singing to Taylor Swift, Stream Folklore. And this is the Tea Tree Triple Treat Giovanni, the conditioner that goes with the shampoo. And I feel the same way about it. It's fine. It's not the easiest, as you can see me struggling a little bit to finger detangle. It's not the easiest to detangle with. And when you have hair like mine that is like so thick and kind of frizzy and I just like really need that extra slippery, slippery sloop slop, that wop wop conditioner to get through my hair. And this one just ain't it, but again, I'll use it till I'm done with it. Now I'm just going in with my wet brush after I finger detangle just to like evenly distribute the product and then conditioner. Here I am doing the other side, doing a little squishy to condishy. Um, one of those steps that I really don't know if it does anything, but I do it because why not? That's what the ladies on the internet say to do. Um, and here I am being grossed out by all the shedding coming out of my hair from detangling, sticking it to the wall like a monster. And then just more detangling, more brushing, more of that, some, some squishing, some smoothing. I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. I didn't realize I'd do this for so long. And while the conditioner sits in my hair, I like to clip it up to keep it out of my way while I would normally be in the shower like washing my face and like the rest of me. But uh, since I'm not doing that, oh, here I am almost dying, slipping on a conditioner. But um, I didn't, so that's cool. So while I'm waiting, I um, did some TikTok dances uh, while listening to Taylor Swift. And as you can see, I'm a really good dancer. I did whatever that is. I did that, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. So the very last step is I do an apple cider vinegar rinse. Usually I would do this after my shampoo and then conditioner, but I forgot today. So I do this like maybe every couple weeks or whenever I feel like my scalp needs it. And I just put it in, massage it into my scalp for a little bit. And then I rinse it out and that's the end of the washing shower process. I also forgot to mention, I usually wash it out with cold water, and that's like my final rinse. I realized at some point in the shower recording process, I meant to hit pause and I didn't. So then when I thought I was hitting record, um, the very last step got cut out. I'm putting in the Pacifica Pineapple Swirl Curl Defining Cream. I rinsed the apple cider vinegar out, gave my hair like a gentle squeeze to get any excess water out, and then I put maybe like a, that big size glob of this in my hand. And I split my hair in two, and then I rub it in, and I just kind of start down here, and I just kind of glaze it over all of my hair. And then I flipped my head over and did like lots of scrunching and then I plot. So that's all you missed as far as my routine. To be honest, it, I don't know if this does anything. That It smells so fucking good. So that's why I really like using it. Now I am plopping my hair in a big t-shirt for about 20 to 30 minutes. Um, I don't know how effective it is for my hair, but I just do it. Now I'm just kind of arranging my waves the way I like them and I'm re-wetting my bangs and roots with a little bit of water because they tend to dry first. And the last step is I go in with the Eco Slays Orange Marmalade Gel 
which I got from an Instagram ad and I love it. Um, but I shake it up first because the ingredients are pretty natural. I use one pump for like one side of my hair. I might need more. Again, these are all kind of new products for me. I've only been using them probably for about a month. So I'm just kind of now learning how much, how little, what ways to use them. I also like to take my little spray bottle and emulsify the gel with a little bit of water in my hands. I usually, I'm in the bathroom standing at the sink when I'm doing this. So I'll just get a little bit of water in my hands and just kind of mix it in my hands with the gel. And that just seems to help kind of coat my hair better. So this is what my hair looks like after scrunching with the gel. It's still pretty wet at this point. I can't tell if I'm being overly thorough by showing every step, but I just want to be sure I'm showing the full process. So the newest step of my routine that I'm still learning how to do is diffusing my hair. I honestly just bought this hairbrush like two weeks ago, so this was really my first time using it. The drying method I'm using I learned from Swavy Curly Courtney on YouTube. It's called Pixie Curl Diffusing, I believe. You can look up on YouTube how to do it exactly. I was really happy with my outcome of that. This is my hair about probably 90% dry and I'm putting in little alligator clip in my bangs to hold my roots up. I had to run an errand to CVS so I put my hair on a scarf so it wouldn't get all frizzy and gross. Okay guys, so this is the very last check-in. My hair is 100% dry after I diffused it hours ago. I diffused it and then I ran a couple errands and I ate dinner and I've just been like laying on the couch. I diffused it to about probably 90%, maybe a little more in some parts. I'm still kind of figuring out how to diffuse my hair. This is what my hair looks like after all of that. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. This is what it looks like. Well, this is what it looks like. Usually, I would just let it air dry. That tends to give me kind of flatter hair up until like here and then it starts getting wavy but I think the diffusing definitely made it look much more like bouncy which I really like and I took the little um alligator clip whatever it's called out I just use it to like help create like a nice shape um when my bangs part so the only thing I have left to do is scrunch out the crunch which there isn't much left there's a few pieces that are like pretty crispy you get a little bit of a cast with um, the orange marmalade. My hair frizzes really easily, so I like to use a little oil. I just use this Acure rosehip oil, and then I just go through, and I just kind of give everything gently scrunch any like remaining gel crunch that could be left, and I gently flip it over, and I just kind of fluff my roots. And just depending on how my hair looks, I'll take another like half, a half pump, just like gently run it over the top layer of my hair and kind of into the ends, just to help frizz. And then that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon.